Oh. Jesus, Lord of mighty. I'm like Ace Ventura. Oh, Lord. Like, <laughs> hear them donkeys. Too gross. <laughs> 24 years. Pizza roll break. Breakfast. Can you believe it? <laughs> that seems to work. <laughs> Shrimp on the bobby. Ooh, appreciate you. Upgrade. It's almost as old as you, honey. Oh, my Lord. Sleepy eyes. What a baby. <laughs> Sad news. Weirdos. Woo. Fools need to know. Like to have killed me. No. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Poof. Score. Woo. Just scrawny. Ooh. Wow. Jean shorts. Wow. <laughs> Cracked out. You win mama that t-shirt. You can do it. <laughs> Oil deposits. No machine. Kick myself for that. Can you believe that? Check your rear end. That's incredible. Heaven help us. Stop it. Oh, they're buck wild. Basketball banquet tonight. <laughs> While eating chips. Good That's luck with that. Yeah. Keep it on the DL. Whoa. <laughs> Fancy food. <laughs> Ralphie wins. Blender's on there. Sleeper dude ironing board. Hey, Granny. Yeah. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. You may think we're in a space shuttle, but we're actually in a Corvette. C4 Corvette, right? Woo! Exactly. After six months of waiting, we are finally back with the absolutely free C4 Corvette that a very gracious fan sent to my boy here, Ralphie. He got this thing for his 11 year old birthday. Can you believe that? If you watch that Will It Start video, we got this thing running, got it driving, but it really didn't have any brakes and it really had some rotten casings on it. So, so now after y'all been waiting on us to make a video for this for six months, we finally have all new brakes from Zip Corvette and we still got some tune-up stuff we never installed on it. So we're gonna crank this thing up, get in the shop and get started on it. Right, Ralphie? Woo! Never fails. Trying to get your seat Wrong up. Thing. Wrong thing. Which one is it? I don't know. It's got a lot of buttons. I don't see it. We don't need that where we're going. All right, now we ain't done the tune up yet. We're rolling on two flats in the back. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Excellent. I think she's got a little bit of a miss to her. This thing does sound good. I might should just go ahead and try to air this one up, huh? I know the other side won't air up. I think we're gonna be too low to get in the shop. It's coming off the bead. It wouldn't air up last time. I right, turn the compressor on. Maybe we can get it back on the bead. It's going back on. That little compressor does good, doesn't Jesus, it? Jesus, Lord of mighty. <laughs> you think you're nervous? My finger was right there. Oh. here new booster we got master cylinder we got all four calipers brake pads hoses even brake fluid and the hardware we also have brand new hoops and casings from rocket racing and ralphie has not seen them yet are you ready for this yes Woo! Oh, wow. look at that so these are the rocket attack hoops and they're 18 by 9 inch standard offset we got a set of 275 35 18s on here. So we're going a little bit wider than stock, but not going absolutely crazy with it. These cars this year actually have a funny offset. So I think 88 and up, it's a whole lot easier to get hoops for them than it is for the early years like this one. I'm excited to see how these things look when we get them on there. Oh, Ralphie, yeah. Look, I even lined the center cap up with the logo. Oh here. Lord. Look at that next level stuff there. Oh, golf clap? 
Look, this guy, <laughs> Corvette shirt, ring, chain. Uh, I don't know what's Socks up to your knees. Like it's you really went to his head. Anyway. We've actually never had this thing on the lift before. As you can see here, it's got the stock exhaust down to here and nothing back there. We eventually want to do something different with the exhaust. You got to hear them donkeys, you know? Oh, yeah. You can't quiet them donkeys down. It does sound pretty good. We already did an oil change in the last video. But you can see these things have the mono leaf front suspension and rear suspension where it's just got that single leaf spring in there. Don't know what that is. You don't know what it is? It's, it's a, a mono, mono leaf. leaf. What's the word mono mean to you? One. Kissing disease, exactly. Oh um, gosh, Dad, stop it. <laughs> it's one. What? Ew, gross. Stop. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, mono means one. Like, hey. hot rod if you see Hot Rod Hoarder in the background somewhere, he's here doing some photography as well today. So check his channel out as well. Get you a shirt like that too. Yes. 3X zoom on you right now. Just oh. want to let you know. <laughs> on my face? Yeah, just, just the face. <laughs> just teeth. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Let's get the old hoops off this thing. Look at that, Ralph. You think you'll ever do that? What? Hoops in the air like hey. that? <laughs> He's got really bad lug nuts. I almost forgot to get lug nuts. So I only got three on this one, but three's all you need. I don't even think we ever had these off, have we? Turbine design? Is there a name for these? Um, Mr. Salad. Corvette Museum hat or whatever. <laughs> salad shooters. Salad shooters. Good name. Here, I, I thought that was a vegetarian with diarrhea. So these are super old, dry rotted like crazy. And these are a 245.50. And like I said, we're going with a 275. So we're getting a wider contact patch. Tommy decoded this for us. And it looks like it was made in 1999, the 41st week of 1999. So that's how long they've been on here. How old is that? 24 years. Yeah. So 24 year old casings we're taking off here. Sorry guys, pizza roll break. These are great. They are. I can't figure out where the ball's at, can you? Mm -hmm. I mean, they even look right. I had a lot of trouble finding these initially. I searched all the normal parts, stores, sources, wrong auto, stuff like that. Could not find a place that sold like the all four corners of everything. Until I checked with Zip and they had the whole deal. We're even going to turn the rotors. Can you believe it? That's my boy. You're gonna have to get up there and turn it. It will not turn. Do you want me to hunt your biscuit? No, I'm good. Oh, that's funny. I'm good. That's good. What? Oh. oh no, I got it. So we're gonna take our brake hose off here. We don't have a 12 millimeter line wrench. That's the issue here. I'm trying to get it off without rounding her off because that would be unfortunate. I think I'm gonna have to get boxers on it. Well, Ivy thinks I should probably heat it and I'm sure she's right here. What? Well, just this once. Heat usually helps everything except for ice. Oh, he's gonna find oh, he's his got, bottle on the ground. On the ground. I probably should have like PB blasted this stuff beforehand, huh? Oh, there we go, Ralphie. Luckily, this is not as old as the cars we normally work on. The lines are not all blown out. You know, a lot of times they tear at the ends and swell up. They don't look to be in awful shape, but you never know what the inside's like. They swell up on the inside. See if you can take them caliber bolts loose. Give it, give it a pull. I heard something pop. What was that? No, no, no luck. You'll get there one day. I probably don't need to be doing it. No. Our brake pads weren't in terrible shape. You know, these Corvettes, they don't get a lot of miles put on them. How brown that is coming out of there. Ugh. Get our old sliders off here. I don't know what that is. Basically, it allows the caliper to stay centered on the rotor. It allows it to float on there. Looks the same. Looks very similar-ish. That's really light. I feel it. It's not as heavy as I thought it would oh, be. Oh, wow. Because usually those are cast iron. And this is probably aluminum. That all looks correct there. One side has these little tabs on it with a little squealy guy. Kind of like you. <laughs> yeah. I guess we're going to get our rotor off here. See about getting it turned. A little rusted on there. Kind of just rusted on there, right? That seems to work. 
All right, it's getting serious. Why is that all? There's only one person lives in my house that would play with this knob right here. <laughs> and her first name is Squeezy. Multiple times this has happened. I went to use the torch and suddenly it has no pressure because somebody turned the knob. This time. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to get the hub and bearing so hot and just get the rotor hot. It's been a long time since I've had one stuck on there that bad. Is that hot enough, you think? Did you say Shirley? I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think this is what it's designed for. It's a drum brake puller. We have been beating on this thing for a while now. No luck at all. This thing's a little sketch. A little bit. Is it bending? I don't see it bending yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was that stuck? I mean, we seriously beat on this for like 20 minutes. That's crazy. That scream was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna see if these can be turned or if we're gonna have to replace them. We're gonna move on to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all four rotors off here. That way we can go ahead and get them to the parts store. And we'll go ahead and start putting new stuff on while we're waiting on that to get turned. We're gonna use our air jacks here, I think. So set it up on this jack plate here on the wildfire lift. The police are coming to fingerprint to see who turned it. Okay. Was, was it you? It was you. No. Are you sure? Yes. There we go. It goes up really high. It does. I don't want to go super high though. And now, Ralphie, what? why in the world didn't we burn these off completely? We got too excited. We did two really big burnout tents though. When we hit our 100,000 subscribers, we did a really big one. So that's a pretty cool set. Look, it's got like a four link. It's got that mono leaf. Looks like the ride height may be adjustable. Got a sway bar up here. Is that got, we has got the original spare up in there, Ralphie. Yeah, I've been saw it. it's a little donut spare. It looks like it's had the car lot special here. The chassis black special. Uh, there you go. Looks very similar. I think we stubborn too. We found some sand in this car because it came from the Carolinas. We don't have sand around here. So I know I didn't get it around here. It was hard to turn. I noticed that. Okay. Those are quite a bit more wore out. Huh? Oh, yeah. They didn't have much life left in them at all. I may have to get vice grips on this too. Oh, yeah, it's going to slip. Come on. Did it go? Oh, I think it did. I think we're good, Ralphie. There we go. Well, that looks identical to me. I got to take this bracket off so we can get this rotor off of here. It has an emergency brake inside of here and this cable is kind of shrouding this bolt on the inside so there's our bracket should be able to pull it please just come off there look at that look it looks like our emergency brake nobody's left her on and drove down to the waffle house or anything this rotor looks a little thicker than the front ones let's get this thing off here Ooh, look at that ralphie what is that look how bad our brake we put fluid in that didn't we back when we we had to have when we got it going. Look, made in Australia. Let's put another shrimp on the bobby. Oh, this is gonna be easy peasy here. Whatever this switch is here, I don't know if that's a brake pressure switch, brake light switch. I don't know what it does. It's not even plugged in. So we may need to find that wire and plug it in when we swap this out. Are you comfortable up there, buddy? Yeah. They got a ground strap on this side. See what this looks like. A little goopy. Look at that. Ooh. I can't believe how much this looks like an old single pot master cylinder. I wonder why they didn't have a separate reservoir up here. You'd think they would want more fluid capacity from the factory, but we're dealing with 1987 here, you know? Not a lot of people making a lot of good decisions in that year. Ew. It's disgusting. It is. It's got a ring around it. Wow. Been, been there. I bet that's where our fluid went. You can see the master cylinder was leaking down through there. Mm. Check this rotor out too. I just noticed that this driver's side rotor will barely turn. So what usually happens is one of two things. Either the hose swells up shut and it holds fluid pressure on this side or the piston gets rusty and when it goes out and sticks because of the rust. One of those two things are happening there because that will basically won't turn. Ralphie, we're gonna have so much better brakes after we do this. Yes. You know? 
It's just gonna be next level, isn't it? And this says, this is date coded 1986. So this booster is also very old. The reason we're replacing the booster, we don't normally do that, is the brakes are hard as a rock and the booster's hooked up. So we must have a bad booster in my mind. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. I'm pulling the cotter pin out for the brakes with my fancy snap-on pliers somebody sent me in the fan mail. Appreciate you. I can't even see it myself. I can just feel it with my hand up under here. There's the pin. We got two nuts up here. I think they're 13 millimeter. Look how long the extension is. <laughs> That's how far up in the dash those two bolts are. I have finally, after lots of struggle, got on the second one. That one's very hard to deal with. Steering column's right in your way. It's all loosey goosey now. Ow. Oh my lord. Can I come off there? Not really. The battery cable's right in the way, too. Oh my gosh. It is a pain, isn't it? Okay. That one's plastic. The new one's metal. Upgrade. Exactly. 11th month of 1986. That's almost as old as you, honey. <laughs> Let's get her on the pins here, Ralphie. Got you a milkshake? Oh, yeah. oh there we go. I might should have got a new one of these. <laughs> oh, my lord. Look at that thing. I wanted to clean it up. That is so crusty. Ralphie, here's something you can clean. It's like spring loaded. The mini spark plug. It needs to be cleaned up though before we throw it. It's got rust on it. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you eat. <laughs> it's too cold. I'm gonna clean. Yeah. This thing is all plastic. Like the threads are plastic. Look, it's just chewing it up when I put a wrench on it. I hope that doesn't leak. That'd be a bad deal. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna start the night. <laughs> Drop them. This ain't good on the L4. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, dropped it. I think I got one on. Is one good enough, Ralphie? Yeah. I got it up in there. It actually wasn't as bad as taking it out, surprisingly. Got the pin in. This is not your bed. Got sleepy eyes. That's all we're gonna get done tonight. I still gotta take the other side apart, but as you can tell, it's dark outside. Rocky's already in bed, so we're gonna pull the other side off in the morning. Take it to the auto parts store and see if they can turn the rotors. First time for us. We've yeah. never had a set of rotors turned. We're just going above and beyond for you, you, you know? You know those things where it's spinning real quick and it like puts a little, a little spike in it and it like... It's literally turning the rotors. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You can get one of those machines, right? Yeah, if you have money. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh, y'all are babies. You already had your bottle. Yes, he didn't have his. He wants both of them. Come on, Rocky. Let's work on it. We gotta get these brakes off. <laughs> Maybe we can get this caliper here loosened up. Yeah, there you go. So, now that's freed up. Maybe it won't be too hard to get off there. Those brake pads look like they've been replaced recently as well. Is this rotor gonna be as big of a booger as the other side? I wonder why that other side was so hard to get off. That wasn't that bad at all. The rotors don't look grooved hard, but they do look kind of thin looking. He wouldn't work until we had breakfast. Hey, somebody's been spraying grease on it, on the rotor. That looks like white lithium grease to me. That seems really weird. Same treatment here, the old used car lot treatment. Don't see anything wrong with the frame stuff though. This rotor feels a little stuck as well. I love doing a complete redo on the brakes like this where you replace everything in the system because it just drives like a new car when you do that, you know? Instead of putting one piece at a time on it, it's stuck on there. Oh man, those are all the way down to the rivets on the front side. So what that tells you when you have one wore out way more than the other one is that the caliper wasn't sliding correctly. It was putting too much force on this side. It is grooved pretty good. We we may have to put rotors on it. I wish this emergency brake cable bracket wasn't right in the way of trying to take this bolt out. Makes it a real pain to get to. I'm probably gonna have to clean the rust off of these brackets where the brake pads come into contact with it because they're really rusty too. Grease up these sliders so it floats like it's supposed to. This never go oh, there you go. I'll say. All right, are you stuck on there?
This is crazy to me how well it works to use heat. I beat and beat and beat on that thing. And I actually went around it once with a torch and it didn't move at all. And then I went around it and got it pretty hot right around that ring. And it literally just slid right off with no effort. Tom's out here this morning again. Man, none of these have broke loose without some work, have they? There we go. Finally. This is the nice thing about unbolting the hose from the caliper first is you can just screw it off this way. I'm gonna go ahead and just preheat this one. Well, I think we've got everything off now. So let's get these rotors to the parts store, see if they can be turned or if we're gonna have to replace them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm carrying a watermelon. You look like it. Don't worry, honey, I got them. So, sad news. The rotors were not able to be turned. I was worried about it because we had some that the rivets got into. So we ended up just ordering new rotors for it. They're supposed to be here any minute now. So wifey's gonna get the rotors. Me and Ralphie are gonna start cleaning on the stuff before we put it all back together. I'm gonna bench bleed the master cylinder and start putting the stuff back on. Excitement level, one to 10. Nine. We need to get two fender liners for this thing. Both fender liners are busted. I think somebody tried to put a jack under it and jack it up. Y'all are good little toothbrush cleaners. I don't, I don't know why I like it so much. I don't know, I don't like it. I just don't clean it usually. Look at all the rubber in the quarters from where we did burnouts with this thing. Mm. Ralphie, check out these fancy lug nuts. It mm -hmm. comes with a tool that goes to tighten That's them. Weird. Make sure I got the right thing. <laughs> your, your ring. I can't keep a straight <laughs> face while looking at that ring. So these are M12 by 1.5. I was expecting it to be a standard thread, but it's not. This way our socket won't hit our hoops when we try to tighten them up. I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> now, you know nobody's ever going to see this, right? So? Ralphie likes stuff clean, though. Yeah, I, I do, too, actually. Weirdos. So, y'all been telling me, you need to bench bleed your master cylinder. Well, you're probably right. So, I bought the kit. They had one at the parts store here. So, basically, you put a fitting in here that's the correct size. I wish these were labeled. The standard ones are labeled, and the metric ones were not. You put the hose into the fluid, and then you pump the piston in and out and get all the air bubbles out of the system. So that way, it's easier to bleed. And sometimes air bubbles are very, very hard to get out if you don't do this step. We've had good luck so far, but we'll do it anyway. Woo! I got a screwdriver here. I'm pushing on the piston. Ooh, look at that. That's weird. Pretty cool, huh? It's like a science experiment. We put some more fluid in it because it was kind of low. There you go. Bad buzz. <coughs> I think we're good. In preparation for mom returning with the correct parts, we're gonna go ahead and file down this rusty stuff where the brake pads ride against because we want our brake pads to float in there nicely. Oh, we gotta accentuate this for that. Fools need to know, don't they? Yeah. It's a Corvette, son. They get it off pretty good. Yeah. They get that logo, bro. Oh. Well, there we go. Got the rotors. We're gonna see if they're the right ones now. It's always good to know, isn't it? Yeah. We're just not used to putting all new parts on, are we? Yeah. Well, the best for the best. <laughs> Guess so. Did you look at these? Me? Yeah. No. I um, I thought you were getting the right stuff when you went. They better be right. <laughs> I haven't even looked at them yet. I don't know if they're right Ew, or not. Lord, my heart stopped. <laughs> they heavy, I know that. <laughs> I think they're right. We're going to clean the oil off of them and bolt them on there. So you always want to clean the rotors because they put like an oily coating on them to keep them from rusting. You don't want that on your brand new brake pads. That comes on and off a whole lot easier than that old one did, huh? Like to have killed me. Corvette. Exactly. You gotta know. Two Ugga Duggas. Wait, is it stable? Put your finger in it, I'll spin it real fast. What? No! <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull these old sliders out. Looks like the grease is all dried up on them. He's exploring. He's a killer. We're gonna dip our new sliders in some grease as well. Oh, yeah. Bubbles. 
Mm -hmm. Gotta let them out. You'll explode if you don't. The one with the little squealy guy goes to the inside and then the other one goes to the outside out here. Oh, it's like spring loaded so it pushes those in with those little springs around top of the brake pads around me. Make one? sure your bleeder's pointing to the top. If you don't have your bleeder to the top, what? you got the wrong side on there. See the little springs when you push it, it puts spring pressure on them, holds them down. Hey, bye, bye. Is he a sweet kitty now? Yeah. He's got his motor on. <laughs> We got our new copper washers on there. Bolt this thing down. And then our other end goes down here, of course. Don't break it off in it. Okay. Just one ugga dugga on that, that okay? Was like many. Can I get. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can or not. That's probably tight enough. Okay. You got a hammer, Ralphie? Hand is not a hammer. This is a hammer, son. Same process here on the back. We're gonna put some grease in there. I can't believe that rubber is in such good shape still. And that's so much easier when it's new parts, isn't it? Oh, I forgot about that bolt with the booger. It's harder than the GED was. Don't laugh at me. It's not funny. It was hard. You gotta kinda do this one like an eighth of a turn at a time because of that bracket under there. This thing has pretty small brake pads for a Corvette, it is. Get in there. You're going. There we go. He even came with the new bolts. That's fancy. That's super fancy. Ralphie, how many other dugas on this one? Let me help you with the ring. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're good. That'll never come off now. How many goldfish packs have you ate? Oh, is that the emergency pack? Is that the only one? Yeah. He's already had like four. I, I got a Capri Sun down in here. <laughs> a lot of times we'll flush the lines out before we hook them up, but I just don't feel like it needs it considering we're replacing everything except for the lines. And this thing is not a rusted up mess like a lot of these cars we've had that sat for 30 years. You mean all? No, yeah, that's true. I'm just impressed that we didn't have to replace any brake lines and didn't have to put any new ends on or anything. We're not used to this, are we? No. Usually it's a train wreck. Every one of them breaks off. I think we're done with this side. Let's go ahead and put the master cylinder on, Ralphie. She looking good. Oh man, all oh, brand new. Fancy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a master cylinder that looked like this one. I like how it's labeled clearly for front and rear. That's nice. A lot of times you kind of guess at which one is the line for which one. I really hope that our little plastic fitting doesn't leak. We'll go ahead and put some fluid in this and let it start going down through the lines. Okay. Do you have to put your head on it to I do it? I can't even see what he's doing. He's covering so close. Oh. Oh, that's getting cat food. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Covering so close? That's it's definitely. Terrible. You're getting Leave close casting on that Leave one. Leave me alone. Wait, is it like, do you have to turn it a certain way? Because, like, one side of the lines. And... Here, bud. Here. There's one. There you oh. go. You got it. So I'm putting this drill bit in here and cleaning the old grease out on these things because it's all dried and packed in there. Poof. <clears throat> That's a good ugly day. Give it two. I'm gonna guess the size. There you go. Score! You think we're gonna have any leaks? Not a one. Chances of leaks, what do y'all think? Uh, zero percent. This thing tighten up and we'll be done with this corner. Give it the test, Ralphie. <laughs> He still struggles with getting bolts started. I do. Do you want to do it? Bolt? You want me to start the bolts? Yeah. Got our new copper washers on there. This one's a 13 millimeter. Well, Ralphie, I think you've got all the brakes done. Whoa! So whoa, whoa, whoa! We just got to bleed these things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but. That's gonna be tomorrow because it's Ralphie's bedtime, right, yes. Ralphie? I'm very tired. We're gonna go in the house and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Does this ever stop? No. They're on it, aren't they? Yeah, they're hungry. She's so little. She looks piddly, don't she? You're just scrawny. <laughs> Her little tail's going. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, next day, topped off a of brake fluid here. We're gonna start bleeding this. We got mom on brake bleeding duty because there's been some instances with Ralphie behind the pedal. <laughs> been a couple instances. We're gonna start with the back and see what we can do here. Are you gonna get Crocs on, do you? Of course I do. Oh gosh. We may never get these bled. Ooh. Nice. I'm talking chilly Wednesday. Oh my gosh, it's bubbly. You can see that old fluid coming out through there. <laughs> it makes a funny noise, it does doesn't make it? A funny noise. <laughs> I want to know what the noise is. It's like weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look. Yeah, it's brown fluid, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, did it get God. you? Did it? Oh, Lord. It went all the way up there. Lord. Hmm. It's awful whiny. Like a little baby elephant whining or something, you know? It's hilarious. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. All right, we're down to clear fluid now. You should probably get out before them crocs break something in there. We did. We don't want to be putting another transmission in. Ain't broke nothing lately. It's time to put the hoops and casings on, Ralphie. Woo! We've been waiting so long to do that. <laughs> Ew. Looks like our boot's torn on that ball joint, huh? It'll It'll be, be fine. Exactly, I was about to say the same thing. It'll be fine. You gotta grease these old cars, don't you? Yeah. It ain't like them new ones, guys. If you got an old car, you gotta grease them. So why don't you go over there and I'll put them on and then we'll get your reaction. All right, turn around and look at it. Oh, wow. wow. That looks great. <laughs> Like it. It's gonna look real good when we set it down. And the brand new brakes look great behind the yeah. hoops. Oh, yeah. Let's get them all bolted on. We'll set it down off the jacks. You're so fancy. I don't even have this on my car. Well, the Super Coupe has new hoops on. I, I can't yeah, say that. Cool. I like the impact. I think it looks better than I thought it was. I like the 18s. It looks better than the 16s, in my opinion. So like we said before, these are 275, 35, 18. So they're about a half inch wider to the outside. You can go a little bit farther on the inside, but these early C4 Corvettes have a different offset than the later ones, like 88 and up. So it's harder to find hoops for them. You could probably fit in 10 or 11 even on this car if you had them offset farther to the inside or if you didn't care that they stuck out. Do I need to give it a, a jounce? Yeah, you're gonna need to jounce that back in. Well, it needs to roll, really. We'll see <laughs> how it sits once we drive it with people in it. Cause that needs to be about there, really, mm -hmm. you know? Once it rolls, it will settle some. You gotta tighten it up. How tight? You do what you think and I'll check it. Oh. You think that's ready? Oh, that one, no. I thought that's what she was doing was tightening them. He got beaver nuggets. And then oh, Lord. Forgot what he was doing, I think. Yeah. You had them pretty close to where I put them, though. Ooh. That was Loosey Goosey. That, right. that was the one that I didn't do. It, it, it did pop up, but it's just like super heavy. We're going to do our tune up now. We also bought some new shocks for this uh, back class because it's very heavy. Does that defrost go through these? Uh, it's like completely shot. You got your end? All right, now plug yours in. There's like nothing more frustrating than a back lift gate or a hood that won't stay up. It about kills you every time you... Yeah, it does. I like the back part where you can like put stuff in and like, yep. like compartments. Yeah, like your golf clubs. Yeah, I don't play. Your New Balance shoes. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. Your jean shorts and gold chains. Lots of things you can put back here. Yeah, there may not be enough room for that gold ring though. I don't know. Probably squat the bag. <laughs> Exactly. So we bought this stuff when we bought the car. So we got plugs, wires, cap, rotor, yeah. new belt, looks like, and a fuel filter. Let's get this stuff on there. It's like hard to push down now. I'm scared because it's all glass. Surely they're pretty stout, do you think? We actually bought new hood shocks too. Can you believe that this hood that I probably can't carry on my own has a shock that big to hold That's it up? That's crazy. I, what if like this was a shock? That would be 
be so much better. I would like to know how much pressure is inside this thing. Ridiculous. That is wild. Yeah, you'd think it would be like you know, huge. But no, that's, those are what holds the hood up. Wow. High pressure gas contained. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, so I can push that one in. Can I do it with this one? Nope. That's a negative on that. Man, those are stout. Push your pin in. Look at that. It'll hold itself without the prop rod. That's incredible that they're that strong. You know? Look how much easier that is now. You don't even have to have the pin to hold it up. You don't even know how to read. Not much. <laughs> what is the world coming to? AC Delco, made in China. Why do those things seem like they shouldn't go together? What's the spark plug yet? 35,000. 35, yeah. That one's good. Okay. You gonna pull the belt off, Rafi? Pull the belt off. The, o the only belt. No, just the one. Sorry about the rain, guys. Trying to get this done. Can't really get to the crank on this thing. I can't get that thing out from around the crank. Hopefully we can get the new one on. Pretty cracked out. You know the top. What is it hitting? Something. There, there. It's on. Would you believe we have the wrong belt? What? Yeah. After I cut that old one off. I don't see any numbers on this one. <laughs> I cut off. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Not the right belt. Another trip to the parts store for me, I guess. Two inches difference in length. You got the wrong belt. I know, and I got this like six months ago. Hopefully I can return it. We looked it up and it's supposed to be a 60888. O'Reilly just gave me the wrong belt, I guess. But we're gonna go ahead and do all our tune-up stuff to make sure nothing else is wrong first. You gotta see anything different with a Corvette? Uh, that thing? The wheels? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Language? They're new. I never noticed anything different wrong. They're shiny, aren't they? Yeah, I guess. I I never, you I never look at the wheels, I guess. You do. You always do. Ralphie, firing order for small block Chevy, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, wait. I thought I'd train Wait a minute, that. he's thinking about it. I, I, I've heard you say it lately, but I don't know what it is. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. It's about time you learned that. Every small block Chevy cubic inch they made. Go. 262, 305, 350. No, 327. I don't know. So I want a t shirt when I was like 15 years old for knowing every one of them. 262, 265, 267, 283, 302, 305, 307. Yeah, 302. Mm -hmm. Let him finish. 307, 327, 350, 400. Yeah. I missed a few. Just a couple. It's about time you learn them. You win mom and that t-shirt. And this right here, this back one, not easy to get to. There's four screws to hold it down. This one's a booger right here. I didn't know how you gonna pull that thing out of there. I don't know. They should have put the distributors in the front like Ford did. There we go. You know Rocky's hiding with his mm -hmm. weather. He don't like the rain a bit. He hates it. He's smuggled up, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Nathan Cowley. These things have a monster rotor in them. It's a little corroded right there. I don't know if you can tell. It's not in terrible shape, though. This has Phillips screws that go back down. It had quarter inch screws before. It's kind of like Operation, isn't it? It's I love a, that game. This is a... It is just like Operation. It's a weird setup, the way these things are done. They're very simple, though, as far as just like one wire hookup and you're running. It's nice. Ooh. Don't look healthy, does it? That's crusty. Looks like E.T. again, doesn't it? How's that little spring conduct all that, you know? It's crazy. This guy goes on and holds all that down. Hey, at least they used to be made in the USA, see? <laughs> Now the first plug we pulled out of here looks very black. The porcelain is completely black. I'm hoping that we find our little mist because it, to me, when it's sitting there idling, it feels like it has a mist to it. I don't really notice it so much once you rev it, but maybe putting all this to do ignition stuff on it will fix that. This side's not too bad to get to. Other side, I don't think it's gonna be that way. Just like you got Bugs Bunny by the ears, you hold them up there. This one's gonna be one of our longer ones towards the front, so we'll get it. It actually says on the end of these, which end goes to the distributor and which one goes to the plug. So what I'm gonna do is just pull one old plug wire off at a time. So this right here is our number one. So I should be able to pick that same one on our new cap over here. Just keep running like that. These back ones are kind of a booger to get to. I've dealt with worse ones. What's the worst ones you ever had to mm. do? The Maverick was pretty bad. 
with a big block in it. There just wasn't any room. They all look similarly bad. That one's got a little more deposits on it, but they're all pretty similar so far. This one right here is a real booger to get to. It's up against- I can't even see where you're doing. I know, I, I can't really see either. My ratchet's got reversed. Is it up again it? Yeah, it's literally up again it. That's tighter than them 34s I got in the closet. See if you can get your piddly hand in there. Cause I can't. It was loosening, and now it's just stuck in there. You can do it. It's not coming out, Dad. You can do it. Maybe. Oh, I got it, I think. <laughs> it's doing weird things. Look at you go. Didn't even drop it. A little bit of uh, deposits on oh, there. Oh, she do. Give us a diagnosis, Claire. I'm thinking oil deposits. Okay. Very oily and sooty. Those are kind of rusted up looking. Oh, yeah. Man, I've been in there a long time. I didn't see any with like the gap closed up or a ton of junk on them, but there is a little bit of deposits. This thing's gonna run like a new machine. Oh, yeah. Slam. We can't let mom drive though. Oh, I'm gonna drive it. You ain't driving. I'm driving it. Just wait till he goes to school. All right, that is the last one. It's not the easiest thing to put plugs in for sure. This distributor is not easy to work on either where it's at but i think it's better than the lt1 is you know since we don't have the right belt i'm gonna go ahead and change the fuel filter you gonna hold on i guess don't scratch your hoop that big ring you got <laughs> i'm gonna go up to 10. it looks like somebody has replaced this at some point because it is shiny i don't know what the other one thing is above it i'm not i haven't lived that corvette life you know, I ain't Mike the neighbor here. Oh, Lord. We gotta put some good gas in this oh, thing, too. Oh, Lord. It's gonna go somewhere. Ugh. Here, get the drain pan. Where's that? Gross. We put gas in it, but we put 87 octane in it. I've kicked myself for that ever since. Why? Because it needs 93. It's a Corvette, son. They don't run 87. Is this ever going to stop pouring the gas? Is it gonna drain the whole tank in here? I better hurry. It is just, it's just coming out of the tank. Yeah, it's not going to stop. The little boy with his finger in the dam all night, I guess. I got the new one in here now. I'm trying to hurry with this. You know, you're really not doing it right until you get it run down your arm, up into your armpit. That's when you know you're doing it right. She's filled up and started pouring over. Would you just quit leaking? Ralphie, this means that everything in the fuel system is new now. New injectors, has new fuel pump and new fuel filter. If you pour them out of the inlet side, sometimes you'll see. Yeah, see how it's brown? That's the dirt and junk it's caught. So it definitely needs to be changed. Man, I almost forgot <laughs> to check my rear end. What was I thinking, huh? You know this is a donkey car. It says limited slip differential. Oh, look, it's full. Can you believe that? See, they yes. took good care of that rear end. They did. They checked their rear end. Check your rear end. Don't burn them up. Nobody's going to check it for you. Why does it have like little short drive shafts? That's just how it's an independent rear suspension, so. That's incredible. Yeah, it's got little short drive shafts out here too. Big long one in the middle and the short ones in the back. That's incredible. I'm amazed. Is she going to run like a new one, Ralphie? Yes. Look, it's just dead even with the outside of the car now. I forgot to put the cover back on this thing. Ralphie reminded me. This one's tight. Are we doing this again? No, oh, heaven help us. Like the millionth time, it's righty tighty. I know. I, I just gotta think about it. They're gonna have like a test at school to graduate high school, and it's gonna be like you're gonna have to righty think about tighty, it. lefty loosey, or lefty tighty, righty loosey, and they're gonna fail. Of course, how appropriate is this? I'm trying to loosen this, and on the cap it says tight this way to, to loosen it. While I'm making fun of them, this has left hand threads and I'm doing it wrong. Let's go get our belt. Be done with this thing. On a mission. We can't beat that. I got seven bucks back. Stop it. Crazy, right? Oh, they're buck wild. They have no idea we're watching them. King of the Mountain. They're gonna share it. That's some good stuff, isn't it? So it ended up being too late last night to get it done. So it's the next day. Ralphie's actually at school. I'm gonna throw the belt on this thing. And he has a basketball banquet tonight. 
and he's been dying to take this thing and drive it to school. So I'm gonna surprise him by putting his belt on and we can drive it tonight to his basketball banquet. What are you doing? She was over here farting and sneezing at the same time <laughs> while eating chips. That's the life, ain't it's, it? That's the kind of woman you want in your life. You're a mess. I always get right in the phone. I don't have a thing. This lower one's so hard to get on around the crank. Okay, I think I got it. Looks to be the right size this time. He got his seat cover on there off the Mustang. All right, let's crank it up and check our transmission fluid and stuff. Hopefully she still runs. go ahead and check the timing on this thing i'm bad to just get one running and not check the timing and then later on figure out it was low and that's why the thing was down on power or whatever timing mark wait i mean here is super dirty oh yeah we can see it now so in order to set the timing on these there's a brown with a black stripe wire here you unhook it and that basically cuts out any advance it's giving the engine it should be at six degrees down there to be correct See how it's logging down, it has no advance. Well, it's not at six degrees, it's at zero. Well, I gotta get this distributor loose then. That's Good luck with that. Yeah, I know, right? Believe it or not, it's not that hard to get to. With a swivel head of gear wrench, at least. That right there should give it a decent pickup and power. We'll definitely need to put good gas in it. I recently checked the Falcon and it was like 10 degrees too low of timing. So I gotta start checking that stuff more often. I'm bad to time by ear and just let it go. Let's see if we can make it out. away that tune-up seems to be not shaking like it was he's gonna be so excited isn't he? yes man that thing looks slick it's incredible how much those hoops make it look better we need to fix those thinner liners so the rocker sits up where it's supposed to and just imagine that thing with a paint job all right let's get some good gas in it around the ground oh yeah it's like corvette life <laughs> We got a date car at least for the next five years or so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to drive one of these in auto body school when I was 13. I think it was actually the same color, but it was a catch fire injection one. I kind of fell in love with them back then. It's a little bit of my dream too to get to drive one. I mean, I feel bad that we ever put 87 on this thing, you know? <laughs> you can't treat a Corvette like that. No. You go get Ralphie from school and we'll have this thing ready to go okay. to his banquet. Got the belt on there. Even put 10 gallons worth of 93 in the tank. <laughs> hey, keep it on the DL, but bump the timing up eight degrees too. <laughs> That's like taking the restrictor plate off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gotta sit a little bit lower with, you know, an extra 10 gallons of racing gas in there, but I don't know, it doesn't look very low, does it? Yeah. We'll give her a drive with us in it though and see how that looks. You ready to give her a test drive around the yard before we head out in there on the road? Yeah. <laughs> get a dash that works that would be helpful how the brakes feel good a lot better than they used to be yeah for sure touchy huh you ready? oh we're good we're sliding <laughs> we're not used to rolling on brand new casings are we no. i knew it i knew it Kill us. 
Stop! What is wrong with him? Don't tell her I told you to do it. Oh. <laughs> this thing's awesome, huh? Yeah. What do you think you're doing, Slick? He told me to. You not tore true. my. Not true. This, this ain't the field. Those hoops are so shiny, they're glistening on the sun's glistening my eyes. It sounds pretty good, don't it? it sounds it great. It, it took all great. that mist out of it, seems like. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, let's take it to the basketball banquet. Okay. Look, you already got dirt on your casings back here. Golly. Look at that. Clean them off, son. We can't have that. Does it seem any more responsive like, with the timing and stuff? Yeah. All right, let's get changed and head over there. Yeah. I'm going to say you're looking awful spiffy. Right. Remember, flip-flops are for working. Boots are for dressing up. We're so fancy. You already know. You're not used to this. I'm not used to this. I've never lived that Corvette life, you know? I thought you had to be like 50 to do this. Oh, I'm 11. <laughs> Might as well shut it off while I'm ahead there. Shoot, we didn't even make it to the school. No. <laughs> we got issues. Yeah, pull over in front of me. Well, now what? I don't know. Mom gonna have to tow us home? Maybe. What the heck? It's still running, but you give it any throttle and it just falls on its face and wants to die. We need to limp her back home? I think so. When we left that stop sign, I kind of got on it and it, it didn't feel right. Like the next hill, we give it some throttle. Let's see if the plug wire something's off. It's starving for fuel. Which it has a new pump. What? have a fuel. Yeah, I know. Again, it has a new filter. It has new injectors. It might be like an injector stopped up or something. Maybe trash. You think some trash went through it? Maybe. It feels like it's running okay and then it just needs more fuel and it falls on its face. Well, let's get it home so we can get to our thing. It's probably our 1980s computer system or something. Maybe the mass air meter and stuff ain't working right. I'm going to try to limp it home. You follow me. All right. 
Too bad Mike's neighbor's out of town working, huh? Mike can't come to the rescue today. Hey, you're not Mike, but you're the next best thing, honey. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hopefully, this thing will make it home. We were just plagued with fuel issues. Mm -hmm. We probably should have put a new fuel filter on it when we put the new injectors in it, but we didn't. It's possible we stopped something up. Let's see what it does here. that it's like the ancient computer something like that throttle position sensor yeah see so it don't feel like it's running around right there does it no. feel that yeah. i feel like i hear something squealing back there am i wrong it's right here okay. man i was really hoping it would make it to your school yeah it like runs good and then doesn't yes it's really weird That's what makes me think it's a computer issue. Well, at least it is a pretty far in the country to drive in. Yeah. Even though the road is rough. Let's see what it does here. Well, snap, Ralphie. It makes no sense. It doesn't. I was really expecting it to make it all the way there. I wasn't. That's so weird. I don't know what it could be, though. See, Ralphie, that's what I'm wondering about. I was like, is it something to do with that ancient thing there? Why is it going from running good to not running that's good? That's why it wouldn't work last time. I never heard our electric fan kick on, either. I thought we was going to have to have you tow us home. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on with it. I'm not used to breaking down with Mike out of town. I know, we gotta have to plan this better. Well, there's nothing like clogging that up. Nothing weird like that. Shoot, I, I really didn't even think that it would do something like this. I wasn't even really worried about it making it. At least she's lot drivable and insured. <laughs> At least if we get in a wreck in the yard, we're good to go now. We're gonna have to get back to the old drawing board, but that's gonna have to be in a different video, unfortunately. We're going to be late. Well, I guess this is the next best thing, a 400 horsepower turbocharged Thunderbird, right? Yeah. We got this thing running on ethanol still. I love this car. She gets a little lick, don't she? Yeah. Much faster. This is the Corvette. This definitely makes more power right now, but the Corvette is lighter. I don't know, I probably still have my money on this thing. This thing's got such a high gear on these back roads, you really don't even get into a high gear. I'm in fourth right now. You should give her the like, soup. Give her the onions, the vegetable soup? Yeah. You gotta get it warmed up first. Still cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hope your friends will be impressed. Yeah, hopefully. At least this whole faithful made it. Yeah, at least something made it here, <laughs> right? Yeah. I thought he was gonna have to drive your car. <laughs> Is this your family? They got hot dogs here. Yeah. Fancy food. Loud dog. How much stuff you want on that dog? I didn't want that much chili. She's, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna I don't even know if there's a hot dog under there. You gonna win a trophy? No. <laughs> Ralphie wins Rookie of the Year. Can you believe it? And not everybody got a award. Yeah, there were no participation trophies here. Good job, buddy. Well, guys, we got all fancied up there in our Corvette. And 
Didn't even make it there. Can you believe that? Good job, Squeeze. Oh. All we had was hills from there on out to the school, and if it ain't gonna make it on flat ground, it definitely wasn't gonna make it up a hill. I didn't want to get me and him in a situation where traffic, where somebody get hurt. So better just to limp at home, be safe, tail firmly tucked. We got there 90%. We just didn't get the other 10% we needed to make it there. So we got some more diagnosing to do. You know, it seems like that's all I do in my life. Eat your bourbon barbecue vines and drink your RC colas. At least we were able to make it there anyway. You know, we got other options on driving around here. We got other cool stuff. We had fun. Man, big steps up for the Corvette this time. Absolutely love the rocket racing hoops. Do you like them, Ralphie? Yeah, they're nice. It's funny how, like, hoops and casings can totally change the look of a car. Having the tune-up done to the engine, obviously, we still got some tune-up to do somewhere in this system that we haven't figured out yet. But big thank you to Zip Corvette for helping us with the brake stuff. Big thank you to Rocket Racing and Holly for their help with our channel. Go check their stuff out. You want some, Squeeze? I'm a good. little nibble? Huh? I'm good. You still full? Look. Ralphie saved some room. But we tried our best, guys. We just seem to have fuel issues. What is the deal? We've had fuel issues from Tennessee to Durham, South Dakota and back. I don't know what the deal is. Everywhere we go, we have fuel issues. We got to get past this somehow. I don't understand it. Everything in the system's new. We got to figure something out. Maybe we got a fuel line issue. Could be a fuel regulator. We've never changed that. We may need to rebuild the regulator. We appreciate all you guys for watching. Thank you very much. We appreciate everybody that watches the videos. We appreciate everybody that comments and likes. Thank you to all our members. Thank you to all the people that do super thanks. All those things make it possible. I wouldn't have this job if it wasn't for you guys. But you can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude Channel 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. Show them the new shirts, Wawa. Show them. What, what new shirts? Oh. There they look are. At them. Just, would you just look? Look at those new shirts. Get you some of those. If you click on the shirts below, it'll take you to Spring's website. You can get leggings and yes. jeggings, probably. Probably. Uh, we probably have blenders on there, I would guess. Hmm. We probably even got Sleeper Dude ironing boards. I don't know what they are. What's but that? Just <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We better go find Rocky and give him his Vainas. He wasn't a whole lot of help on this one. Nope, no, he wasn't. I'm going to have to talk to him. And I know Vainas wanting that sweet RC cola. Rocky, come on. Where's Vainas at? Oh, I heard it. I heard oh, it. Oh, there she comes. She come out of the creek. <laughs> Rocky Jr., you're in the lead. You want some? I got to stay on this side. My clothes are too nice. There you go, Rocky. Look, here comes the cows and everybody. <laughs> Can you believe that Ralphie didn't let you ride in that Corvette? It's too nice. We better give Granny one. She's going to be mad. Granny. Hey, Granny. <laughs> hey, Granny. <laughs> Granny. She has no hearing whatsoever. Hey, hand signals. Hello. There you go. <laughs> well, you almost missed out. Oh, oh wait, all right. There you go, girl. She did good. Do you want some? Is that what you want? Rocky Jr.? He's like, I don't, I don't mind it. Goodbye, and this is Squeezy Approved. Yeah. Who? Yeah. The cheese. I don't know why he's still asking that. We all know who know. did it. We know. Him. We know who cut the cheese here. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Remember, it ain't illegal till you get caught. Tell him bye. All right, you got a bottle. You got a bottle. You got a bottle. Oh. I'll let him have it, Ralphie. Oh. Look at his little tongue. Look at his tongue. <laughs>